to Hawaii and the desperate search for 12 Marines missing off the coast of Oahu. They were on a nighttime training exercise in two of the military's biggest helicopters, just like this one. The crash causing a boom so powerful it was felt miles away on shore. But now the search hampered by dangerous conditions. ABC's Aditi Roy reporting in tonight from Oahu. That desperate search for 12 missing Marines now in full force for a second day. Dozens of rescuers from the Coast Guard, Navy and Police Department looking for survivors from two CH-53 helicopters believed to have collided midair. From the north end to the south end of this island, we have folks involved. Witnesses saying the crash lit up the sky. It just seemed like a, a flare ha had been deployed from, from an aircraft. There have been a series of Marine Corps helicopter accidents in the past year, the highest number of fatalities in at least five years. Anytime you get these number of mishaps in a row, it's time to stop, step back, take a look at what are you doing wrong. Is it training? Is it the airplanes? Is it the way that they they're, uh, are being operated? Tonight, the images of those missing, including Major Sean Campbell, a father of four from Texas, and 21-year-old Ty Hart of Oregon. Will not give up hope unless I'm told to, because I know how strong he is. It's not just our son, there's 12 of them. As those families anxiously await news, officials say they'll be monitoring the radios through the night and battling the rough surf again tomorrow.